Okay guys, I just got done filming my uh, <coughs> review of something, but as you can see, I have yet again dumped something weird in Train Simulator. I have acquired a narrow gauge route, and I f once tried a big boy on this, it didn't work. But the, this is Chorus Railway by the way, it's like $15. Like twelve dollars, I think. As you can see, a class away it does fit. So if I disengage the brake, full reverser, and full throttle, as you can see, we can take this very weird train down the line. We have a tiny little course railway open wagon. Look at that coupling. Next we have this course railway coach. A spray car. A spray car. And that's the whole train. And of course we're going decently fast after all this is a narrow gauge route and we are on a stair gauge engine although class of weights can't really go that fast and this feels like a normal speed but we are actually speeding seeing this class of weight travel on such sharp curves Like, it's literally driving along the ground. It's following a vague path. This is so weird. So flipping weird. And look, we're climbing with the building next to us. Look at us. Look at that. We nearly tipped there. We we're only going like 20 miles an hour. Blowing the whistle because class of weights do not have horns, they have whistles. Although I still refuse to believe that, but it's true. Uh, hello, uh, I know you know this is a narrow gauge route, but yes, I am a class of weight on a flipping narrow gauge route. Your eyes are not deceiving you. Uh, uh, I can tell it's a very bumpy road. Uh, so, uh... How are the kids? Maybe that's an undercover police officer. Wondering why there's a flipping class of weight on a narrow gauge line. Sorry, no time to chat. You gotta go. Uh, so we're going like 21. Nearly tipping at 20 miles an hour. 
Don't mind me just hitting pedestrians due to the sheer size of this locomotive. Certainly nothing wrong with this. Probably yeah, my own music, so why even bother? I better shut up. Oh, well, hello there. Uh, yeah, I know this is a bit strange seeing a snare gear ginger on a narrow gauge line, but... You know we're only going 22 miles an hour. They're still probably going to tip me. Or not. Oh no. Okay then. Well at least we know that the only reason we derailed was because I ended up not stopping in time. I, I thought I would be able to stop in time. But, uh, you know, maybe not. <laughs> the, the core threat, the narrow gauge open wag is <laughs> on its end, hold, like, holding us in the air. The coach is clipping into our buffer beam. And is a little bit... Off the rails and well, the standard gauge open wagons don't really to look too scathed by this. Diesel decided to go rogue, and the chorus railway decided to say nah. Well, I mean, it didn't. It, well, only when he went when he crashed into the buffers. Didn't say nah the rest of the way. Uh, it is very strange that Train Simulator lets you take standard gauge engines on a narrow gauge route. Don't even ask for a big boy or a challenger. Well, I wonder if I could get K4 on here. Let me try that. Well, seems like the K4 has immediately derailed. So that's a no-go. Okay, we're gonna try an F40PH. See if that'll work. Oh my god. I have successfully put a flipping F40PH on a narrow gauge line. Obviously, this thing is way faster than a clock away. So we're obviously going to tip it. At some point. I heard that screeching. That screeching man was going to tip. And there we go. We tipped it. Let's try that again. Okay, this time I've only got in throttle notch one. And the brakes... ...are... 
um, engaged by one step. It's in lapped. I'll play in Thal 2 in initial reduction. I'll see if I can get there without it derailing. Yeah, I'm bored. I just want to floor it again. That's the video is already over 10 minutes long. You know what? What about the U8? Your 440pH? I know you're a really great engine, one of my favorite engines. But you're literally breaking when or breaking or smashing window or smashing buildings. Well, how do we not derail there? Don't mind me, I'm just a standard gauge express engine on flipping narrow gauge tracks. And now I'm dead. Okay, peace guys, see ya, bye bye.